Hey everybody, Edo here, and this is Santorini by Dr. Gordon Hamilton and published by Roxley Games. This is the second Kickstarter I've backed of Roxley's. First one was Steampunk Rally, and I have to say, perhaps, I'd really think through it, but they're probably the best. I mean, I think in the whole Kickstarter space, in terms of communication, graphics, you know, stretch, go I mean, they're awesome. I'm always impressed with Gavin and the work he does on these Kickstarters and these products. I, I've, you know, again, it's the second one, not disappointed in any way and blown away, generally speaking, by the production value, the art quality, the integration, yada, yada, yada. This, these guys are the elite, elite on Kickstarter. Anyway, Santorini is a fantastic two-player game. It's really simple, abstract strategy game with um, a whole myriad, uh, myriad of... Um, awesome, oh, well, these are upside down, some of these are awesome, uh, awesome uh, player god abilities that change up the game significantly um, and make it totally different. The instructions, the production value, everything about this is through the roof. Um, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, you put together this board, which is just these different components, com components that come in, and there's way more of these than I've, I've laid out at the moment, and the way the game plays is basically players start by putting their guys out um, and you are trying to be the first player. On your turn, you can move one spot uh, anywhere around you uh, and you can go up one layer if there's a layer down and then that character can build. So um, I could move here and then you have to build the le levels moving up. So just going quickly, build a, th a, th a lower level. Now, again, I could move up and then build diagonally. So this is moving up and you keep going. And essentially what you're trying to do as a player is have built up a building that will let you move and get to the top and whatever. I couldn't, you know, you have to be next to where you're building. I was just doing quickly, but to go here. But perhaps right before I do that, somebody caps it. And now you can't do it. So you're building and growing, but if at any point you can't move because you can't climb up some higher le level, like if you box somebody in, um, you can't move either of your characters or, um, well, you, if you can't move or, or do your actions or build and you, uh, or, or the other player wins, that's the end of the game. All of the abilities that you get from the god card, some let you, one guy can let you double build, another guy can let you kill other characters by, you know, moving towards them. It's like bot, bi, bi or bi or whatever. Um, all sorts of different combinations that really fundamentally change how you play this game. I was... It's, it's great. It's stellar. This is a stellar, well done, finely executed, thoughtful game. Kudos, bravo. I mean, it's great. There is a but. And it's an unfortunate but, and it's not even one I know how you could ever deal with. Which is, I think this is the first time I feel like this might be nice to have as the original abstract strategy game it once was. The production value ends up making the game unwieldy. Not to play, but the cleanup and setup and bringing it out of the box and setting it up is disappointing. It's, disapp it's, it's not that long, but the game doesn't play that long. I mean, the game's really a quick game and it like begs to be a game that you never put away? Like, if you're somebody who has the space to just leave it out, so that, like, like a chessboard, you know, in a garden or something, uh, even though you can't get this wet, it'll be destroyed. Um, I totally love it. I love that version. Uh, I, 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 but in this case, just, I mean, again, you know, you could sort of get rid of this and not use this and not deal with it. Well, that'll help, and you could just play here, and that would work, and that would speed up. But then even these, they just putting them in the bags, getting them to fit in the box. It's nicely packaged, but, like, it's an ordeal for how light, fun, and great this game is. Like, 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 it's not, I don't even know if it's a fair criticism. Um, I, I think there might be an opportunity for a version of this that's, like, white tile, black tile, gray tile, blue tile and it's like you just like I don't know but like I I I I want to play this a lot I don't want to keep taking it out and putting it back in 
and I don't, I almost like don't know what to do with myself because it's, it's, it's like, I don't have the room to leave it out all the time and I play too many games. So, so anyway, like, like it's a conundrum. It's a bot, like, you, this is a game you should like wake up and play and go to bed and play and play it all the time. Um, but pulling it, I didn't even want to like dump all of it out for this review because I was going to be like, I got to put it all back. Right? I mean, I'm that's serious, right? So, Roxley does a fantastic job, excellently delivered game, tons of fun, great abstract two-player strategy with light rules, their whole, like, 10 minutes, 10 seconds to learn, 10 decades to master, whatever the box says. It's totally true, totally varied. Um, they have expansion. If you backed, you got it. I haven't played it, but they have a, a fleece guy and more cards. Um, I'm sure it's awesome. But... Keep up the great work, guys, and I don't know if there was a, I don't know, I don't know what the solution here would have been, but perhaps, I don't know, maybe if the pieces were done in a way that they stacked better um, for storage, like in a, like a, I, I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to gripe because the game is so cool, but I'm, I, I don't know how to deal with it. <laughs> okay, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, most importantly, play some great games.